loose leaf or tea bag, powdered milk, fresh milk, to boil or not to boil. Ah! Don't worry, we're going to figure out how to make the perfect cup of tea outdoors. been walking for about a mile. I'd say it's time for a cup of tea, wouldn't you? As a British-based guide to the best of the outdoors, we are firmly setting out our Union Jack adorned stall and flying the flag for Britishness with our first video. Now, if you're British, or if you know someone who's British, you will know that making a cup of tea is a national obsession. However, the method of making that cup of tea is a point of fierce debate. With the help of science, tea boffins and our taste buds, we're going to attempt to make the perfect cup of tea outdoors. To narrow things down a bit, and so I don't end up drinking 30 cups of tea, we're going to use English breakfast tea. Mine's with milk, one sugar. We've got our tea, let's get experimenting. Cup one, ready made at home with a tea bag. So this was brewed at home with a kettle we live in a hard water area and you can't really see it, but there's a little bit of tea scum. That's the actual word for it. Hard water contains calcium and creates the scum. So if you live in a hard water area, it's best to filter it. It's okay. It's not too bad. I've never, I've never liked tea out of a flask. I always remember even when I was a kid and my dad used to take me off in his truck and we'd stop and have a break and he'd pull out this tartan flask and it just tasted rancid and it always has but I think modern flasks aren't too bad so it's not bad it's not the greatest cup of tea in the world you can kind of tell it's come out of a flask but it's all right. For cup two we are using boiled filtered water. At home we often use tea bags just for the sheer convenience but today we're going to use loose leaf tea. Not only is the taste superior because the tea can more easily circulate while it's brewing uh, but there's some controversy over the use of plastics in tea bags and how biodegradable they are which means I wouldn't leave a soggy tea bag behind when we pack up and go. With loose leaf tea, we can just dump the loose leaf under a hedge and let the soil take the nutrients. It's, uh, it's slightly acidic, but in such a small quantity, it won't do any harm at all. This water has been off the boil for about 30 seconds to a minute. The boffins say you must not put leaf tea into boiling water because you can burn the quality of the leaves. So we've got enough in here for about four cups and the science is very simple. Four spoons of leaf tea to four cups. mash, whatever you say there, I don't know. Um, brew. Brew even, apparently, <laughs> says the expert. We let it brew now for, I don't know how long? Two to three minutes. Two to three minutes, and apparently that should achieve the perfect cup of tea, we think. So, 
milk first or milk last? What do you reckon? I've always thought the posh way to do it was milk first, but I like to put it in last because then you can gauge the colour and everything. Yeah, you've got it pretty much spot on. The, the well-to-do used to put their milk in first so that the hot water didn't shatter their precious china. Uh, nowadays, and research has been done on this matter, four out of five Brits prefer to put their milk in last. That seems like the right way. Cup two, loose leaf, fresh milk. Ooh. Oh, I say that's actually really nice. That's lovely. Oh, that's got that, yeah. Can I declare the winner already? That's quite good. I like that. Cup two. And you can see the heat on there compared to the first one. The one from the flask, it tasted quite flat, a little bit meh. This is rich. It's got a really deep flavour. It's it's good. We Yeah, we may have a winner here. Cup three. Powdered milk with our loose leaf tea. Now obviously you're not always going to have access to fresh milk. If you're out on the canoe for a couple of days or camping in the middle of nowhere, you can't keep fresh milk cool, you might want to use powdered milk. I don't know, I'm looking at this, I'm not so sure. But it could be your friend in an emergency situation. Let's give it a try. Cup three is loose leaf tea, but with powdered milk. Now, of course, powdered milk, you have to make your peace with it if you don't like it, uh, because if you're going to be going off for a few days, uh, there's no way you're going to have fresh milk in your bag. So powdered milk can be your friend. Make your peace with it. Let's try it. But before we do, blow it, because, of course, it's not going to cool your tea down like normal milk would. So here we go. It's not too bad. It doesn't taste real, but the problem is we've just tried this one, which was the cup two with the fresh milk. That's amazing. Straight into powdered milk. That's not amazing, but I'm not sure I'd notice the difference if I was out for a couple of days or so. so it's reasonable. It's not as good as cup two, but it's reasonable. My verdict on cup three with the powdered milk. I don't think I'm looking forward to this. It smells okay. Oh, do you know? That's not bad. It's not it's not as good as the fresh milk, but Yeah, I could get used to that. Cup number four is the same loose leaf tea but this time it is with Long Life UHT Milk. Here we go. That tastes really flat. There's, the tea flavour has just been destroyed. I don't know why it would do that, but that yeah, that's not good. I don't know if you like me, but I hoard the little UHT pots and I stuff them in my bag for when I'm going out on trips and been away for a few days. So I don't mind this stuff. But yeah, the tea has left the building. That tastes more like the stuff you used to get in an old flask than the stuff in the flask did. Well, we've definitely found a winner. Loose leaf tea and fresh milk. However, what do you serve it in? Metal? Or plastic? Let's try. That is a good cup of tea. Metal. Metal, you say? Yeah, I am. Yeah. 
obviously you can bring your best china out with you it is clearly the poshest and tastiest way to have your tea but you know it's not practical is it really so uh, what do you think metal or plastic i can't taste the difference The metal is colder, so it makes the tea taste colder. I think I'm actually changing my mind and going for plastic. Try them both, quickly. Because the metal's cold on your mouth, it tastes, it makes the tea taste colder. I won't say enamel because I'm old fashioned, but there's genuinely no difference. Ah, uh, well. Okay. I, this, I think this mug's the lighter is... than the enamel. Yeah, that's a that's a plus point when you're out hiking for the day. Okay, my winner then: uh, loose leaf tea, fresh milk, plastic cup. Your winner: loose leaf tea, fresh milk. Obviously, we've decided on that, but you can't decide between the two. It's a draw. It's a draw. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let us know how you like yours. Hey, I've had an idea for a future video. Oh yeah? What is it? Um, tips for ladies on how to wee outdoors after drinking too much tea. See you next time.